Despite claims made by former President Trump and his supporters that Michigan's election was in some way stolen from him, this new report affirms what Michigan election officials have been saying for months. It was not. A long-awaited report from Michigan Senate Republicans quashes claims that Michigan's election was fraudulent, concluding there is, quote, no evidence of widespread or systemic fraud. Put it in the record. The 35-page report was released by the Republican-led Senate Oversight Committee and Chair Ed McBroom. It comes after months of hearings and investigations into all aspects of the election in which doubt was cast, including whether dead people voted, the false allegations that ballots were dumped overnight in Detroit, and the quickly corrected result reporting issue in Antrim County that sent conspiracy theories swirling across the country. Everything we know to be true about Antrim County. The report also recommends Attorney General Dana Nessel investigate people who have pushed false claims of election fraud to raise money or publicity for their own ends. We thank you, Chairman McBroom, for you know, providing what is ultimately, despite what I was frustrated with you know, throughout this process, a very clear rebuke of the claims of election irregularities here in Michigan. And the conclusion says, I quote, our clear finding is that citizens should be confident the results represent the true results of the ballots cast by the people of Michigan. While the panel found no evidence of widespread voter fraud, Republicans say there are vulnerabilities in the election process, and they're pitching their controversial 39-bill package to address some of those issues. I'm hoping that we will actually take a look at that and that, that uh, those bills will be adopted so that we can increase our confidence in our election results. And just yesterday, we reported about State Representative Steve Cara introducing a bill that would require a forensic audit of the 2020 election. In the report today, Republican Senate Oversight Chair Ed McBroom says, based on the evidence, that's not justifiable. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.